What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a home invasion thriller that I was beyond excited to see. And it is Don't Breathe. Directed by Fetty Alvarez who directed the remake of Evil Dead. And this movie stars Stephen Lang, Jane Levy, Dylan Minnette, and Daniel Zavato. This movie is about three young teenagers who are criminals. They break into people's houses and steal stuff. And mostly it's money. And they decide they want to go break into a house of a blind man who's played by Stephen Lang. They find out that his house has a lease of $300,000. And so one night they break into his house. They think it's the easiest job in the whole entire world. And guess what? It totally backfires on them completely. They find out very quickly that they just broke into the wrong blind man's house and now they gotta survive for their lives. When I saw the trailer for this movie and just the idea of it, every single bit of me was beyond excited for it because it's directed by Fetty Alvarez. As I said before, he directed the remake of Evil Dead. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard nothing but great things about it. This is a storyline that I've never seen before on the big screen, and it really interested me and excited me because usually in horror movies you have demons and ghosts that are portrayed to scare people, but in this movie you have a blind man who's out to kill these three teenagers that broke into his house. and. Was Don't Breathe a great, scary movie, guys? Absolutely. Don't Breathe is hands down the best horror slash thriller movie I have seen so far this year. I loved everything about this movie. This is the most intense, scariest, on the edge of your seat movie I have seen in a while. Let's get straight into the positives for this movie. I was really invested in all four of the performances in this movie, and the one that led it all was Stephen Lang. Oh my god, was he fantastic in this movie. He is very scary and intimidating in this movie. I love the makeup on him. It is fantastic. And at first you feel really bad for this guy that these kids are breaking in. But he goes all out on them to try to kill him. Stephen Lane, I hope that you're a cable for Deadpool 2 because this movie proves it. Fantastic job, sir. And then you have the girl in the movie played by Jane Levy. I don't know what other movie she's been in, but she did a great job also. She's the lead of the three young people, and I loved her performance. She does kick ass. Also, her character wasn't an idiot. She knew what to do in some situations. And of the three, she was the one you cared the most about. Dylan Minnette also did great in this movie. The last one I saw him in was Prisoners, but in this movie, he does fantastic. And he plays the character that he doesn't know what to do in situations. And there are some scenes with him where you're just like, how is he not dead? But he killed it in this movie. And then the other actor, Daniel Zavato, he's not in it a lot, but if you saw the trailer, you know why. And he plays the cliche asshole character that just does some stupid things in this movie. But he gave a great performance. Does this movie have a lot of jump scares, guys? Yes, it does. But the jump scares are very well handled. They are scary, they're intense, they're unpredictable, and some are, but you just know it's so well handled. It's because of the director. He knows how to get at the audience, and the jump scares got me. I even stood out of my seat a couple of times. They're that well handled. Another thing I have to praise is Fetty Alvarez's direction. It is beyond amazing, and the story that he wanted to tell, it absolutely works, and as I said before, the originality is amazing, and it's something that I do have to praise about. It's just so entertaining. Another thing about this movie that I couldn't keep my eyes off was the cinematography. It is beyond flawless. 
the overall setting of this movie is just so intimidating and scary. It's so well handled. The camera shots are beyond amazing. And I was just in awe throughout the entire runtime of the cinematography in this movie. And it's so brilliant. There were a lot of times in this movie where you're so mesmerized by the camera shots and then one second later a jump scare happens and it's something I didn't predict. I really can't find any flaw with this movie except for one tiny nitpick. There was one scene in this movie, it was towards the beginning. I was watching it and was like, this could have really been cut out of the movie in my opinion. No spoilers guys, just so you know, that's how I do my reviews, but I was just watching this scene and I was like, what? If you guys have seen the movie already, then you'll know what scene I'm talking about, but in my opinion, I think it could have been taken out of the movie, but to be honest, it didn't bother me much. In the end, Don't Breathe, as I said, is the best horror slash thriller movie I have seen so far this year. Everything about this movie was great. The performances, the jump scares, the cinematography, and the direction all took it up to the next level. Go see Don't Breathe this weekend, guys. I'm going to give Don't Breathe a 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely a movie that you will enjoy seeing. Alright guys, that was my review for the new thriller, Don't Breathe. Have you guys seen the movie yet? Are you going to go see it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!